So we're gonna go through a setup uh, for a sideline right glute max exercise from the Postural Restoration Institute. Uh, this, this is a simple right clamshell uh, against the wall. Uh, we're gonna add a few more details to this, hopefully get your right glute working more. Uh, make sure you're not compensating and, and using muscles like your hip flexors or your back extensors when you shouldn't here. Uh, so we're gonna go through some setups and we're gonna get Dan's right glute working a little bit. So first, let's set the stage and make sure that Dan uh, can be in a position to shut off his back extensors and, and use his abs and his glute. Uh, so here we're gonna focus on da or Dan's left abs a little bit more. So right now if Dan takes his top hand and slides it under the table, he's gonna feel his left ribs pushing down into the table. You may feel them pushing down into the floor. So it just means you're a little bit extended through your low back and you wanna take a breath in and a full breath out. And feel those left ribs move back and those left ribs move up away from the table or moving down towards your hip. There we go, Dan. So another breath in, another full breath out. And Dan can think about driving his left shoulder down towards his hip. That'll help him get a little bit of a side crunch on the left. Good, Dan. And then after this breath out, Dan should be able to slide his hand underneath his ribs and have a little bit of space in between. Perfect, Dan. His ribs in the table. If you struggle with this, you can roll up a towel, roll up a shirt, get it under your ribs so you can feel your ribs move away from that shirt or towel. So once you have that, you're gonna keep those left abs working. Dan's thinking about getting short through his left side and long through his right side. So when he goes to use his right glute, his right QLs and his right lat can be relaxed as he goes to use it. So once you have your abs on your checklist and checked off, let's move down to your feet on the wall. Dan's gonna feel his whole right foot push into the wall. He's gonna put some extra focus on his right arch. And really feeling his right arch push into the wall. Perfect, Dan. And once he has his abs and right arch in the wall, and you can see Dan's right foot starting to externally rotate a little bit. So I'd say, Dan, try to get your foot a little bit straighter on the right, point your toes down, or you get your right arch, perfect. He's going to start to set the stage for his right glute. So as he breathes out, he's going to shift his right knee in front of his left. That's going to draw his whole right hip forward and start to leverage his right glute max a little bit more. And then now as you breathe out, you're going to do a little tiny turn up and out with your right knee towards the ceiling while keeping your left abs and keeping your right arch and keeping your right knee in front of your left. And if he doesn't already, his right glute should start to kick in. Dan, you're getting some right glute working yep. good. And you're gonna hold this and breathe. Every time you breathe out, you can do a little tiny shift forward again with your right knee. A little tiny turn up and out, as long as you keep those things in your checklist. Your left abs on and ribs away from the table. Your right arch pushing in the wall. You should get some good work on your right glute.